Hey guys, so I'm trying something different uh, with this video because I got uh, through with the painting and started recording and couldn't think of anything to say. So uh, we're doing, well, I uh, I, I watched uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners or Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners and um, decided that it would be kind of fun to paint some um, cyberpunk stuff. Uh, so, but I got an AI to write the script for this video because uh, I just couldn't think of anything. So, uh, I'm just going to read this and y'all can watch me struggle through this painting. And... Um, I'm probably not going to get through the whole script, but we'll see how far I get. It says, uh, Today we dive into the captivating world of cyberpunk art. In this eight-minute video, we'll guide you through step-by-step -step process of creating your own cyberpunk masterpiece. So grab your brushes and let's get started. Introduction to cyberpunk art. Before we jump into the painting process, let's take a moment to understand what cyberpunk art is all about. Cyberpunk is a genre that combines futuristic elements, technology, and a gritty urban atmosphere. It often features neon lights, towering skyscrapers, dystopian landscapes, and characters with cybernetic enhancements. With its vibrant colors and dynamic compositions, cyberpunk art captures the essence of a futuristic world. Gathering inspiration. The first step in creating any artwork is gathering inspiration. Explore cyberpunk-themed movies, video games, and artworks to immerse yourself in the genre. Take note of the distinct elements that catch your eye, such as vibrant color palettes or intricate details. Choosing the right materials. Now, let's discuss the materials you'll need for this project. You'll require a canvas or paper, acrylic paints, brushes of various sizes, a palette, water for rinsing brushes, and a mixing surface. Remember, you can always experiment with different materials and techniques to add to your unique touch or to add your unique touch to the artwork. Sketching and composition. Oh, Once you have your materials ready, start sketching the composition. Begin by outlining... This is not what I did in this painting, by the way. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just reading what the AI said. Uh, begin by outlining the basic shapes and structures that define the cyberpunk aesthetic. You can use reference images or let your imagination take the lead. Don't worry about perfection at this stage. It's all about laying down the foundation. Building the underpainting. With the sketch complete, it's time to lay down the underpainting. This initial layer of paint sets the mood and provides a base for the subsequent layers. Cyberpunk art often features a striking contrast between vibrant neon colors and dark shadowy areas. Gradually build up the colors and values, paying attention to light source and creating depth within the composition. Adding details and texture. As we move forward, it's time to add details and texture to your cyberpunk artwork. This is where the piece really starts to come alive. Uh, incorporate intricate elements like glowing neon signs, reflective surfaces, and futuristic um, architecture. Experiment with different brush techniques to achieve the desired textures, such as stripping or drying brush or what on earth? Dry brushing. Enhancing the lighting effects. Lighting plays a crucial role in cyberpunk art as it accentuates the futuristic atmosphere. I just realized that this the audio on this um, video is probably going to be freaking awful because I'm holding my phone right next to my face so I can read this, uh, this script. 
Use bright neon colors to create glowing effects and vibrant light sources. Experiment with techniques like glazing or layering to achieve the desired luminosity. Remember to consider the direction and intensity of light to make your artwork visually captivating. Final touches and conclusion. We've reached the final stage of our cyberpunk painting journey. <laughs> Take a step back and evaluate your artwork. Are there any areas that need refinement or additional details? Make sure, or whew, make those final touches. I can never be a uh, like a book narrator. I'd mess up too much. Take a step back and evaluate your artwork. Uh, sign your. Oh well, where am I? Are there any areas that need refinement or additional details? Okay. Uh, make those final touches uh, to bring everything together. Sh sign your artwork proudly, knowing that you've unleashed your inner futuristic painter. Uh, congratulations on completing your cyberpunk artwork. I hope that this tutorial has inspired you to explore the captivating world of cyberpunk art and discover your own unique style within the genre. Remember, the key is to experiment, embrace creativity, and have fun with your artistic journey. Don't forget to share your masterpiece with us in the comments below. <laughs> Until next time, happy painting. That was that was pretty good. I like um I like the things that AI comes up with sometimes. But that did not get me all the way through this painting, though, <laughs> or all the way through this video. So now I have to come up with something to talk about for the next minute and 40 seconds. Oh, dear God. I'm going to put this over here now, the microphone, so that it's not like right next to my face. I really hope that the audio on this is OK, because I don't want to have to record this again. <laughs> um, but actually, you know, I think that a lot of the advice that they I gave in that um, in that spiel was pretty good. Uh, I've done some acrylic painting before, and that's basically what you do, kind of, if you want to go through all those steps. You don't have to. You could just start painting like, like I do in this digital piece. I didn't put, like, an underpainting or anything on it. I just, you know, doodled with paint or, well, digital paint, and made it look the way I wanted it to. And I would mess it up, and I'd fix it, and I'd mess it up, and I'd fix it, and eventually it came out roughly pretty. This was a speed paint, so, um, or a speed painting, so I really, I didn't want to go in and do, like, super too many details or anything. I just wanted to get, like, a painting done in a couple hours and uh, call it done. It's good to do speed painting sometimes. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of them lately because it's, uh, well, it's speedy and uh, I don't have nearly as much time as I would like to uh, do everything. There's just, uh, I just feel like there's not enough time in the day lately. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye.